recording? Yeah. Welcome to Vermont Air Brothers, your family friendly YouTube vlog where we don't swear or show nudity. <laughs> no nudity? That really limits our art. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. So, careful, don't twist your snow shoes. You'll twist the binding off. We've all already got almost four feet of snow in February. The the uh, chest freezer ran out of propane, and we knew that we'd have to get back here to get a propane cylinder. Oh, so I spent about ten minutes packing the trail from the house to the back of the shed and uh, Joe's relieving me by uh, taking the second shift. Bonnie started digging this out and now it's Joe's turn. So hopefully we get way down in there and get one of them propane cylinders. Hopefully we'll find a full one soon. All right, so I'm taking my snowshoes here and packing this all down. I am a good 10 feet above Joe and he needs a place to throw snow so I'm just trying to pack this down so he doesn't have to throw so far uh, this is I don't know it's back by our burn barrel so it's kind of hard to judge where we're at there's the very corner of the shed everything else is buried the uh, there's the steps to the shop or the loft behind the shop and then you can see everything here's the back of the property so the guide cabin and our woodshed, our woodshed is buried, the back of it you can't really even see. The, uh, the snow is um, two thirds of the way up those uh, poles on the swing set. There you go, Bonnie's reestablishing a place for us to burn garbage over there and down in that hole. Joe's almost six foot tall, and then that snow is, well, that, I don't know if that helps me, but that snow right next to your face, that's the part where you dug out there, that's level with his head. I don't exactly know how he's going to get out of there. All right, Howie. Mush! All right, I got to get this thing out of here. Can I pull while you push? So, just packing a trail to... The outhouse, and then the pantry. Well, today the sun decided to show itself just a little bit through this fog, and it's the first day that we can actually see definition on anything in well over a week. It has been snowing and blowing like crazy. And you can see my trail <clears throat> right here up to the machine there. And I've got another trail back to that stick over there. That is our water hole. And I didn't want to take the machine down on the lake without checking it first with snowshoes. And I've got a, a shovel here wanted to see how bad the overflow was. There is about a foot of overflow. That means a foot of water and slush, but it is below about two foot of fluffy. Well, it's actually not that fluffy. It's pretty packed snow. So I'm fairly confident I will not get stuck in the overflow as I bring the machine on the lake to, to pack our water hauling loop. And, uh, but first, I'm gonna unhook my <laughs> the kids in the sled, that's my packer. And I'm just gonna take the machine around this loop a few times first, get it packed with the machine, then I'll pull the sled around and get it a nice pack. We're out trying to play catch up on this day and uh, tomorrow's supposed to be even nicer day. And then we need to haul water because uh, we've been kinda holding off on doing laundry, holding off on doing showers because we've been really really low on water it's been uh ultra conserve time so 
we know how to conserve water. What are you guys doing? Uh, getting a bunch of weight off of the wood shed and the four wheeler shed. And as you can see, probably there's a pile of snow in front of the four wheeler. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just preparing for another 60 inches of snow, probably by the time April comes. So we got to get rid of some of that weight. And we were just, I was just telling Joe, I'm thankful for that cliff. We just pushed tons and tons of snow off of there since uh, since December. So yeah, you having fun? I'm having a blast. This day is such a morale boost. Why? Well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. We actually heard a jet and saw him fly over because the skies are blue and clear. And what did you hear over in the backyard? Uh, bird, uh, chickadee. So yeah, birds, blue skies. No it's wind. amazing how it's like there's no wind whatsoever. It's warm. The, the, the snow is dripping onto the deck. And then when you look up and you can see a jet, and you're like, whoa, I can see further than 10 feet. So morale boost. Boost, boost. Jump really far. Pretend like you're jumping into my arms. And just jump in the snow. Ready? Marshmallow. Jump. Oh, it's okay. Good job. I did. <laughs> Good job. Can you get out of there? I just slide. You just slide. Oh, Alright, show me your stuff, Chloe. Hey, come here. Come here, sweet boy. Oh. Yeah? Oh. <clears throat> Is it fun to play with the snow instead of just sitting in the sled? He's just like, oh. there he goes. He's off. Bye, Bo. Where are you headed? Where are you headed? All right, Eileen, tell me what we're looking at. A moose on the lake. First moose, probably of the year. <laughs> it is. It is February 20th, guys. And over the last week, we've just had... 40 inches of snowfall. There is a ton of overflow on the lake, and that is where the moose is at. We're on the deck here. Zach's trying to get some pictures. And the only reason we saw him, we were all eating dinner at the table, and uh, Howie, Howie started, barking, so that's why started barking here. So, let's see. What do you got? Yeah, nice. That's a pretty picture. It, uh, it looks like he came. Where are the track? Oh, yeah, you can barely see the track. It looks like he came all the way from the North Fork. Crazy. The poor guy, he's pushing snow with his chest. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's not helping being out on the lake with the overflow. He needs to get off that sucker. I, I don't. We don't usually see moose in February. They're usually down lower. I wonder what he's doing up here. That's a big moose. Yeah, I think it's a bull. Yeah, he's got a cute uh, bell on his neck. He just doesn't have an antler. Dropped his antlers. All right, guy, go live. Well, guys, the month of February has been a wild ride for us. Not much sun. Uh, we've only seen Denali, which is back that way over my shoulder, um, two or three times. Actually, seeing it today may be the fourth time that we've seen it. Uh, in the whole month of February. We've had a ton of snow. You can see my eave right here. 
my head is right here by my eave. Normally that's, uh, <laughs> I can't even reach it from standing on the main ground. I'm gonna take you on a little uh, walk here over to our outhouse. I marked it with these sticks here and I always pack a trail. So let's go over here. I have carved uh, five, I think I've got five steps down into there. They are uh, not a comfort rise. I need to actually shave some down a little more because uh, my wife has a hard time stepping down. Not a hard time, but you know, it's, it's not an easy step for a short-legged person. So you can see behind me there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five steps. And uh, the snowbank behind me here, just nuts. So I normally wouldn't take you in the outhouse, but let's go in here real quick. All right, so from the comfy seat down behind there, um, normally, you know, we live out in the middle of nowhere. I can leave the door open, and when I'm sitting right here, I can look out that direction. This is what I'm looking at. I can normally see Denali, and the top of the snow berm is right here. I have not thrown any snow up that way. Uh, carving out the steps and keeping this all shoveled out, I shovel it all this way and back around this side of the outhouse. I throw it all up there. Now, stand up. I still can't see it. I'm gonna raise the camera. Raise, 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 raise. There it is. Yep, you can see it, focus. There you go. But that's my eye height right here. Cannot see it. So I'll leave this uh, outhouse area and I'll wrap up this video. I just get, wanted to give you guys some numbers. Um, on the year, I wrote them down here, total snowfall. We've had 178 inches of total snowfall on the year. Um, well, let me say on the season, on this winter season. The month of February alone has had 68 inches of snowfall. Um, like I said, February has not been kind to us. It just keeps coming. The last 10 days, 54 inches in the last 10 days. It would not stop. It was relentless. And on the level, right now, I am standing on about 5 foot of snow or 60 inches of snow. And so that's where we're at. We have dug out, we have stayed on top of it. Um, we don't do a lot of snow removal, just enough that is necessary for us to keep the roofs shoveled off. And uh, we've stayed on top of it. Zach and, and Mai's shoulders and backs are just like, you know, we try to work smarter and not harder, but when that much snow falls, it's hard. So, Make sure you guys catch next week's video because Zach and I made a trip to town. Well, let me rephrase that. We planned a trip to town and it didn't quite go as planned. We brought Chloe with us and we ran into a few problems along the way. So don't miss next week's episode. A lot of fun in it, a little bit of drama, and uh, well, I was going to say no more snow shoveling, but you'll have to see it to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you in the next video. The Monte Brothers. <laughs> Go ahead, Chloe. Bye. And the plane's taking off, running out of runway. That's a long fall. <laughs>